I'm in Ireland, Brunelling, where between the 1840s and 50s, Brunel laid three railway tracks. Cork to Yow. And that one is in existence only from Cork to Middleton. Middleton to Yowl is a greenway. In places the cycle route has been laid and in other places they're just excavating, laying down the stones and lifting the tracks. Then the line from Waterford to Wexford, there's a lot to photograph there because country lanes crisscross the disused railway. And it's like this one here. Brunel laid three standard gauge single way railway lines. That one yesterday from Waterford Wexford was all disused. Lots of level crossings and there was one multi-arch bridge which is the only significant infrastructure that I could find on the line. The third line ran from Wicklow north towards what was called Kingsdown on the southern outskirts of Dublin. And I've enjoyed photographing the railway line running flat along the coastline, seaward of all the villages and little towns where the stations still exist. And Brunel's line is still used today. The major, most challenging infrastructure was the line having to be cut through here at Bray Head where there were tunnels that Brunel had to bore because the landowner would not let the railway cut through his estate. So he gave the railway company Bray Head free. But some of it has been called Brunel's Folly because of rock slides and there was a collision on one of his trestled viaducts and with the rock slides, the erosion of the tunnel, it was called Brunel's Folly because of the erosion and the rock slides. And there's a footpath on the top right of the picture which you can see whereas if it were open you would be able to see Brunel's disused tunnels but again rock slides persist and these rock slides have caused the council to permanently close the cliff top footpaths from Bray to Greystones. So there is an element of disappointment here that I cannot see the tunnels. The compensation was, was south of Bray Head I was able to look along the railway line and about a quarter of a mile away there was the tunnel on the south side of Bray Head. So I've got a little way now to go to the outskirts of Dublin where Brunel witnessed experiments in atmospheric traction. So this is Brunel in Ireland. Hardly any Brunel author writes about it, but from my visit I can assess how much difficulty the lines encountered to build. Yesterday between Waterford and Wexford there were so many level crossings that the line was fairly flat. But in Ireland this was the major obstacle was rounding Bray Head and building tunnels on the seaside.